Hey guys, Gavone here, and welcome to another episode of my Road to PVM Mastery series. Um, so first off, this week, um, drop of the week was Red Fire Clan. I didn't get anything better. Uh, so this is a rare drop off uh, Rune Dragons. I can only drop whilst they're on task, and it's worth 20 mil. Um, so... I don't get anything better, but honestly, this is fine. Like, th this is why I do Rune Dragons. I get quite a few of these. Um, and afterwards, uh, well, now my, uh, well, a segment that is probably going to be quite, quite frequent now. Um, so I set a new speed record on QBD, this personal record of 1 minute 34 seconds. Um, so yeah, apologies if my microphone is crackling in advance, I've been having trouble with that. Um, so obviously it's been double XP um, this past weekend and a lot of my, like I've done a lot of preparation and I've been doing a lot of skilling this week. Um, so like all of this was sort of geared towards uh, double XP. So. For double XP, I got um, managed to get 95 agility. My original goal was 92. Uh, I did this through Silverhawk Feathers. Um, I did Grenwalls uh, with Protein Traps um, for Hunter, and I got up to level 89 Hunter. I didn't actually have a goal in mind for Hunter. Um, then for mining, I got 99 mining, which was my goal. Um, so I did this through seven stones. Uh, I did some uh, rune crafting at the blood uh, altar. I, I did some quests, I did some treasure trails this week as well. Uh, I did quite a bit this week, honestly. But. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of footage for this video. Obviously, it's been two and a half weeks since my last upload. Hopefully, it won't take me that long to upload the next video. Um, but I'm also sort of looking for a place I can record more and sort of unique footage. So, I also did uh, thieving, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, I use a different thieving method than most people. Uh, I do elves, I don't actually do uh, pyramid plunder because I don't enjoy pyramid plunder. Um, so, that sort of brings me on to my next goal. Well, my next goals, as it were, in this game. <laughs> so, my eventual goal is final boss at the moment and max sync. And there are a few bosses which are very easy, uh, probably rather quick to get 100 kills for the final boss. Oh yeah, this on screen is me getting uh, 99 mining. Um, so, oh, and in, in addition to that, I also got the smithy skilling pet, the smithing pet, whilst mining because I was using CP form, um, which was rather funny when that happened. But anyway, as for goals, so I can do Cafe Queen. Um, I'm looking at some of the some of the higher level stuff like Rise of the Six. Uh, I might be doing. You might see Rise of the Six in the next video. Uh, I need to do Virago. I need to do raids. I need to do Cafe King. A lot. A lot of the um, higher level stuff. Um, well, high tier stuff, uh, I need to do 100 kills. But there's a few sort of low down stuff that I still can do 100 kills on. But then there's also the grindy stuff, like Mole is going to take a while. T loss is, well, T loss is T loss. Um, but there's also Horakon, which is going to take very, very long. Uh, because obviously it's 32 minutes for a kill. So, in regards to updates, there's actually been no no updates to really talk much about uh, since my last video. Obviously, 
the reason for this is because they've got all hands on deck working on uh, Menaforce, uh, which uh, I'm sort of okay with that. If they make Menaphos better, then then I'm fine going a few weeks without updates. So the update they did bring was uh, skyboxes. Um, so I've sort of been playing around with that on screen. Um, there's some good ones. I like the I like the dawn one. That's sort of my favourite lighting effect. So. Yeah. Um, in terms of Menaphos, I like I saw in the I saw in the Q and A. I'm a little sort of disappointed by by it because I originally thought there was going to be a slam us. So I thought there were going to be five or six new different tasks. Um, there's like six new creatures, but I thought or is it ten? But there's only two tasks, which is sort of a little bit disappointing because it feels like we're not getting as much content as was originally promised. But well, I guess we'll see on re on release. I mean, I sort of feel 120 slayer. That it sort of has to be like, what's the point of having 120 slayer unless there's something to fill that gap? between 99 and 120 Slayer and if filling that gap just consists of two different tasks I mean that's not it's not really I mean what's the point of 120 Slayer at that point I'm sort of rambling on a bit so I also did a well yeah okay yeah I died during this quest so I also did some quests um, some quests. Basically, all of the quests leading up to and including River of Blood. Uh, so I've got my Dracon's Medallion. I've got my Sun Spear now. Um, I have to say I hate I hate quests usually, but Lord of the Vampirum, uh, which is the second to last one, was one of my favourite quests that I've ever done in this game. Because it was all enclosed into one location, there was like no going here, there, everywhere else, etc. It was very enclosed into one location. It was quite a bit of combat. I mean, there wasn't there wasn't that much in terms. Actually, I guess there was quite a bit in terms of puzzles and puzzle solving, which uh, I found this puzzle a little bit easy. But I mean, each to their own, I guess. Uh, what I find easy, some people might not find easy. What I find hard, other people might find really, really easy. So, yeah. Um, so I like this boss as well. It, it was really, really fun. It's like, different mechanics. And sort of, sort of learning the fight on the fly. So I do, I do most of my quests using a guide. I, I use guides from, um... I'm sick of it. Uh, however, when it comes to like boss battles or puzzles, uh, I don't actually use the guy for those. So I want to do those myself. Um, <coughs> one note, uh, River of Blood, I had an instance where I, ha I was... I had a severe migraine induced due to the seasickness part of that quest. So, if anyone from Jagex is watching, you might want to sort of put a warning on that, or take measures to sort of like avoid that, because that's, I, I mean, I, I don't have epilepsy or anything, I don't suffer from seizures, but I don't know, I, I feel it's something that might affect or trigger people quite a bit. Um, so, Hopefully, Jagex could look into that a bit and maybe make an option where it's sort of not seasickness sort of thing. Um, okay, so yeah, I I have awful luck with clue scores. Um, before this week, I've never had a clue score above 100k. Then I get one of 3 million, so I was pretty happy about that. I also got one that was um, 300k. Uh, that very same day as well, and it's like, the other thing is, it's rare for me to actually get two glue skulls in one day. 
I get them very rarely. Now, if anyone can explain what happens here, what, like, <laughs> I totally screwed up. I totally screwed up against uh, Ripper Demons there. Um, so that was uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I can't be bothered to, to cut that. So that's basically what happens when I minimize my game. Um, so my UI source screws up. So I tried Glacials for the first time this week. I enabled them, did the task, and then I disabled them because it takes me too long to kill them. Um, I know it's my first time doing them. I know you're meant to kill the Enduring first. Well, not not first, but Enduring not last. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, I didn't enjoy them. I didn't make much GP. I, and, like, XP-wise, I feel Krill, if you get a Greater Demon task, is better than Glacials in every single way. Um, so, yeah. I also started doing ports this week. Um, and I have some very questionable ship names already. Um, but yeah, I want to shout out my, uh, my buddy Poi, um, who, he sort of like, whilst I was going through like the game tutorial, because the game tutorial doesn't really explain enough for me, um, he was sort of talking me through, through it as well at the same time in chat, so, uh, big shout out to him, um, Help me understand ports a lot better, and I have to say I'm, I'm enjoying ports. I I am hitting the cap on the amount of voyages I can do per day, though, so that's the only thing that I have an issue with. Um, and I guess maybe the progression is uh, not not so much on the quick side. Uh, so I also did some shattered worlds and some. Uh, well, I did rush of blood for the first time. Now, Rush of Blood, I did on uh, the medium, whatever it is, I think it's silver. Um, I couldn't do any higher because there's quests and dungeon that I've not done. So, yeah, um, honestly, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> because my... <laughs> it was quite funny, my loot value at the end was 43 GP. Um, so I'm not doing that again unless I can do platinum. The main reason for me to do that are Slayer VIP tickets. In terms of Shadow Worlds, I'm still closing in on that first ability. I'm probably gonna get a Nox Longbow at some point soon, um, once I have that ability. So yeah, I'm still grinding towards that, it's just taking ages. I need, I need weekly challenges to reset, really. Um, and then, of course, I've always been doing racks, and racks is getting really boring for me now. But at the same time, it's like it's so rewarding, despite how boring it is. Well, how repetitive I say it. it's not boring; it's repetitive. It's still good. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.